So in order to pull off five EVAs, we had a four-people team, Tim, Dave, Tom, and myself. You can see on, uh, to make a flight day four EVA happen, which is a day after undock, there's a lot of equipment that needs to be transferred immediately, and that earlier picture was Dave doing just that. Getting the folks in the crew lock is no, no small task. They're two big, cumbersome guys in the suits, plus all the umbilicals, and routing those umbilicals so we don't uh, get all tangled up took us a, a, a few learning curves, but we, we, we got it. A lot of integrated robotics on this mission, which, uh, which is very communications intensive, which we practiced for quite extensively on the ground. You can see Doug and Julie would drive Dave around on the arm, this here on EVA-2, as he's going into position to grab some of the large ORUs uh, that will place to their storage platform on, on the station. Down here you can see Tom through Dave's helmet camera as Tom's getting in alignment to help uh, provide clearance views. This is the SCAN antenna which gave Dave nightmares prior to launch as he worried about that and uh, banging that antenna. Dave likes to say that he's happy he lives in the future where, where the antenna is in good shape, not the other future. <laughs> Here's Dave installing a pump module. This is an interesting piece of equipment because the, the module itself is larger than the platform that, uh, that it sits on, so it's difficult to see the alignment as he puts it in there, and it took a lot of coordination between Tom and Dave in order to pull that off. The next phase of the EVAs got into batteries, and here you can see two of us working with the batteries. They're uh, about five feet by five feet by two feet or so and weighs several hundred pounds and uh, they actually move fairly well and stable once you get them out of the out of the uh, their attachment spots but they did require a significant amount of force that force which you can see makes the arm oscillate and that's what gave Julie and Doug their nightmares So we would do a technique uh, called a shepherding or, or, or uh, handing it back and forth. And this is, this is MLI. We heard earlier a group gave a, an award for that. And some, I'm sorry to those folks that I had to throw your MLI over, over, uh, overboard. This is a view out the Japanese uh, window as uh, on EVA 5 when Tom and I were out there uh, working on some cameras to install as well as um, prepare some handrails for later use. This is a view of the small camera that we installed. And you can see the safety tethers that we use strung along. And that's where you have to pay particular attention to uh, making sure those get, are straight and don't, don't get tangled. 